Federal judge finds Rudy Giuliani liable for defamation of Georgia election workers A significant legal development has emerged in the ongoing election case in Georgia involving Rudy Giuliani, former personal attorney to Donald Trump, and 17 other defendants. A federal judge has issued a ruling in a defamation lawsuit, determining that Giuliani is responsible for defaming two former Fulton County election workers, Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shay Moss. The judge's decision underscores the extent to which baseless claims made by Giuliani during and after the 2020 election have serious legal ramifications. Giuliani's allegations revolved around Freeman and Moss supposedly engaging in fraudulent activities during the 2020 election. These allegations, which lacked substantive evidence, were prominently presented by Giuliani in various forums. Both Freeman and Moss provided testimonies before the House January 6 committee, highlighting Giuliani's pressure tactics and the subsequent harassment they endured. They expressed the significant toll the false accusations took on their lives, leading Freeman to assert, I've lost my name and I've lost my reputation. All because of lies. The federal judge's ruling holds Giuliani accountable for his defamatory statements, demanding that he compensate the plaintiffs for attorney fees, totaling around $130,000. The ruling also paves the way for a civil trial to determine potential additional damages. This verdict is seen as a significant validation of Freeman and Moss's claims that they were unfairly targeted by Giuliani's unfounded accusations. The connection between this civil case and the broader Georgia investigation is noteworthy. The allegations made by Giuliani mirror some of the central claims investigated by authorities in Georgia. False information dissemination about the election particularly slanderous allegations against election workers, is a crucial component of both the civil case and the larger inquiry into the 2020 election process. While this ruling sheds light on the accountability of individuals making baseless claims, questions arise about its potential influence on the state charges Giuliani is facing in Georgia. Given that this is a civil case, the burden of proof and implications are distinct from those of a criminal case. The judge's decision to impose judgment on Giuliani stemmed from his repeated failure to comply with orders related to evidence disclosure. However, whether this ruling can be used as precedent in subsequent legal proceedings is a point of contention. Freeman and Moss's compelling testimonies before the House January 6 committee serve as a reminder of the broader implications of political actions on individuals' lives. Their experiences as targets of powerful figures underline the importance of upholding democracy and challenging abuses of power. In another aspect of the Georgia case, Kenneth Chisborough, one of the indicted co-defendants, has petitioned the court to reveal the names of unindicted co-conspirators. Additionally, both Chisborough and Sidney Powell seek to have their cases separated from other defendants. Chisbro's argument for a speedy trial, coupled with Powell's claim of potential prejudice due to being tried alongside numerous co-defendants, underscores the complex dynamics of a case with multiple parties and charges. Shifting focus to New York, new revelations from the state's attorney general's probe into Donald Trump's financial dealings have exposed inflated net worth figures. Allegations suggest that Trump artificially increased his net worth by over $2 billion within a year to secure favorable loans. The Attorney General's pursuit of civil charges underscores the potential monetary damages and business restrictions Trump and his organizations could face. This development adds to the mounting legal challenges that Trump and his businesses are navigating. The exposure of such financial manipulation raises questions about its impact on Trump's image, particularly among his supporters. Trump's assertion of being a billionaire has been a significant element of his political persona. However, the revelation of financial discrepancies may erode the trust his supporters have placed in him. The investigation's emphasis on both monetary damages and the potential ban on conducting business in New York State signals a broader effort to hold Trump accountable for his financial actions. In conclusion, the recent federal judge's ruling against Rudy Giuliani in the defamation case and the revelations surrounding Trump's inflated net worth highlight the intricate interplay between legal accountability. These developments underscore the far-reaching consequences of baseless claims and financial misconduct, as well as the ongoing efforts to uphold the principles of democracy and transparency, politics, and public perception.